guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl for me and we are here with another episode and today actually we wanted to do a second part of the COVID video that i um dropped a couple of days ago i wanted to talk about the struggles that we are actually facing as COVID couples and obviously i'm not speaking for everybody but i have been in a lot of bridal groups and i have seen a lot of brides complain and comment or comment and just complain about what they're dealing with right now so i wanted to share just an insight a little bit so we're talking about five struggles that we face as a COVID-19 couple. I'm speaking specifically for me and Joe, um, but I'm obviously going to be talking more as a bride. So the first, first, first point is that the questions do not stop. Every other day, my phone is ringing. Every day, not every other day, every single day, my phone is ringing with the one person having an opinion about something or asking question about, oh, so what are we going to do next? Oh, so what's happening next? Oh, so what are we scheduling for? Oh, is it gonna be the same location? Oh, can I still bring my cousin? Oh, what of this? Like just everybody just has too many questions and it does not stop. As long as I just turn off my phone, and other people text me and I just don't respond. I'm not trying to be mean. It's just really draining. So everybody, everybody, everybody's asking questions and the second point is everybody has an opinion every single person you meet has an opinion you're the one that has to deal with it but every single other person that doesn't have to deal with it that's never been through this before has an opinion and i'm saying that has never been through this before confidently because nobody has ever been through a covid 19 crisis where you didn't even know what to expect next this is we're in, we're in june right now and it's we're still in this pandemic and we have no clue when it's gonna end so yeah you don't know what it feels like if you are not a bride or groom or a couple that was supposed to get married in covid 19 um in 2020 but was derailed because of COVID-19, crap, why is my ring stuck on me? It was derailed because of um, COVID-2019, you don't know what it feels like. So just stop asking me questions and keep your opinions to yourself. So those, those are two of the struggles. People will not stop asking questions and everybody has an opinion. Every single person. Oh, how about now that you have more time? How about you serve this food instead? Or how about you or order this instead? Or how about we wear this instead? Or how about, oh, how about this instead? How about you keep your mouth shut and let me have peace while I think about what the next best step would be for us? How about that? How about that? Wouldn't it be just nice to just sit down and not have an opinion about somebody else's wedding? Wouldn't that just be so nice and so nice of you, right? The third struggle that we have to deal with is vendors changing. One minute you're like, oh, I have a vendor. Like, oh, checking in with all your vendors and some vendors are telling you, oh, I'm sorry, we can't do anything. There's no refund. Um, we have to move it to this time. Oh, I'm sorry, the, the day you want to move it to, there's no, the, just one thing going on with them. And so you are unable to do it. In my cake vendor, she had to move. So she had to refund us our money. Thankfully, she refunded us our money because she was moving. And I was thinking she wasn't gonna move, but she had to move. And now we are in the market for a new cake vendor. Yeah, and it, it's it's crazy. I mean, thankfully, we don't have that many vendors change, but still, it's still frustrating knowing that, you know, a lot of vendors, a lot of people had to change their vendors, it took a lot of time it took a lot of time it took a lot of time to try to find vendors a lot of time and then you know you have everything scared away you have vendors that everybody's working at the same time and then all of a sudden now it's like oh things don't work out now we gotta find a new vendor it's it's a really frustrating feeling thinking i was three weeks to my wedding guys three weeks when covid happened three weeks in fact i was putting the finishing touches i remember going to the post office to post something to my cousin um, just in time for the wedding and yeah three weeks guys three weeks but anyway that's another struggle vendors changing and because it's so difficult to do, even find a good vendor in the first place when when you change vendors it's it's a really frustrating feeling so the next point is loss of money 
there are some venues that refund they refuse to refund money so you're not only dealing with change of vendors you're dealing with inflation of pricing oh if you want to choose a different day oh it's going to be five thousand dollars more if you want to choose a different day it's going to be this thousand dollars more or oh i'm sorry we can't refund you your money if you want to do this you have to put more money down or oh, i'm sorry we don't offer any 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 refunds um uh, and there are no date chains oh i'm sorry your contract says this and this and this and you can't get out yeah a lot of brides are going through that so imagine planning the wedding of your dreams being a month away two months away and now an, a pandemic happens and now you've lost ten thousand dollars because this venue or this food person or this planner has already bought flowers or well, yeah, they won't buy flowers but has already ordered food or has already done one or two things in preparation for your wedding and now you can't have it and now they wouldn't refund you your money so now you've lost a lot of money yeah it's real guys that's some of the things that we're dealing with so i'm actually yeah, a little emotional now so when yeah it's 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 pretty daunting so when people come to me and they're like oh why don't you do things this way i'm just like just, just keep your mouth shut. The other thing that we have to deal with is we have to settle for a date that we don't like. You know? It's like many brides, many couples pick a date based on a particular event of their life surrounding that date. Many couples. Many. Now, some of them would pick dates based on venues and things like that. I know we picked a particular date that was important to us. Um, and a lot more brides and grooms that I know did the same thing. So now having to reschedule your wedding, maybe three months out, a year out, whatever, and you're picking, you have to pick a different date because the date that you picked is not going to work with all your vendors or the date that you picked is, is a Thursday or it's a Wednesday of next year and it just doesn't work. You know, it, it could be really frustrating. Maybe you guys met on first of of January, one eleven, and you decide, okay, you want to get married on first of January, and now that date is no longer available. It's a sentimental value to you. That's really, really frustrating. That you know, now you have to let go of that. So that's a real struggle. The other thing is, and this one happened to me personally, having everything ready for the wedding, printing wedding invitations, printing. Um, the menu of the day, having souvenirs done, all of those things done with the dates on them already, and then now having to change the wedding date, and now having all of these things that will go to waste and your money has been wasted on. Yeah, it's 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 really, whew, it's really stressful thinking about those things that we had printed all the the um. The menus and everything we had, we had a lot of things printed that we paid a lot of money for and now we can't use them because that's not the the date is changed we even changed our date you know we moved that date forward and the new date that we chose is still not gonna be the it's still not working out so now we have another date and the one thing obviously i learned from the first time we changed was don't print anything until you're absolutely 100 percent sure that it's gonna happen so even though we have 300 items of different sorts in the house with different with the dates on it that we're gonna have to discard we're gonna make sure that we're not printing anything until we know for sure that this the new day that we've picked is gonna work out and that's another thing that we write to dealing with guys can you say that i've gotten really emotional it's a really trying time for us and i feel like it's it's important for me to share this video because a lot of people don't understand the struggle and a lot of people just think oh it's really not that bad it's really not that serious we can move it to another day it, it, it really is emotional you you have people who were going to come together from different places to celebrate and everyone was excited and everyone had their clothes and everyone was happy and it was three weeks of the wedding and now it's not happening you're already thinking oh my god i'm going to see my cousins i'm going to see my family i'm going to see my brothers everybody's going to be in the same room it's going to be such a great celebration and it's like it's going to happen but not right now 
So, I mean, I think that we should keep looking at the positives as we're alive, we're well, none of our family members have been affected by this. So we're definitely grateful for it, but the, but we are still going through stuff. And that's the, those, those are the things I wanted to share with you guys. Um, two more points. One of the other points is, one of the harder things that we also have to do is uninvite guests. Yeah, some guests that were invited to our wedding are no longer invited. Not because we don't want them to be there it's just with everything going on it's hard we have to narrow down how many people are coming to the wedding so now i'm uninviting people and you have to decide do you want to officially tell them they're uninvited or do you want them to figure it out regardless of how you do it it's still going to be a lose lose situation so that's another thing that we have to deal with that's not really it's not fun it's it's really it's really i keep saying this word daunting but it, it really is it's like you have to uninvite people and it's not really the nicest thing to do but you're doing it because of the health of your family members as well as their health or just because you're trying to save money so that's that's another thing that we have to deal with um and then the final thing which <laughs> It's all on me, but it's still it's still an issue. It's gaining weight, right? You're gaining weight because you're just sitting at home. Obviously, you're probably working and stuff, but you're just sitting at home. You're not doing much. You're not you're not, you're not as active, and now you're gaining weight in places that you're not supposed to be. And then you put on your dress, and you're like, oh, it doesn't fit. Like imagine imagine doing that and just having like a mental and I'm crying I'm crying inside right now like a mental and physical breakdown like oh my god what am I gonna do and we don't even know when this is gonna be you just paid money hundreds of dollars to have your dress adjusted to the perfect size in anticipation of a day that's coming in three weeks and now you don't know when it's gonna be and the dress that was your perfect size. A few months ago, it's no longer your size because now you're home eating. Because obviously, sometimes when you're stressed out about the wedding and everything, what you're doing is you're eating. And now things don't fit or now things look off. Now your body doesn't fit right in this place and you just... <sighs> but yeah, those are like some of the struggles that we have to deal with. And I wanted to share with you guys just so you guys have a little bit of a perspective on what we are dealing with right now. Um, but on the on the upside we're alive we're well we're still planning this wedding we're still happily engaged and everyone is still you know strive everyone is still doing okay so we're still thankful for that but i just wanted to share with you guys what we're dealing with i hope you guys are staying safe during this time please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you have subscribed thank you so much for subscribing i really appreciate you doing that uh, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up let me know what you think about this video definitely leave me comments in the comment section below um, let me know if you have questions about anything don't forget to subscribe guys please stay safe protect your heart and i will talk to you guys soon bye